It's uh, coming up to 20 to 8. Six million Jewish men, women and children perished during the Holocaust. Today marks 71 years since the liberation of Auschwitz, one of the largest concentration camps. Well, Ernst Bornstein spent four years in seven different camps and later wrote a book about his experiences. Breakfast Graham Satchel has been to meet his daughter. My father is my hero because I lost him so young. He was a young man with no experience. He grew up in a village, very much cosseted and protected by his family and had no life experience. Ernst Bornstein was just a young man when he was taken from his village in Poland by the Gestapo and sent to a forced labor camp. Like millions of others, his parents and two younger sisters were gassed at Auschwitz. Now your only numbers. And if you forget your number, then you will no longer exist. I became 24131, and I immediately learnt it off by heart. I decided to translate the book because I wanted to preserve my father's memory and, above all, what happened to his family and our people. The book tells the story of seven concentration camps, of death marches, of lives lost in casual, random brutality. 22 years have passed since these events, but the memories are so clear. Grey, shaven figures with sightless eyes staring into the distance, waiting for a bullet to the head. I wait for them to speak, to moan, but they sit there motionless and then silently fall forwards. In one camp, Ernst is made to endure the horrors of working at the crematorium. When there was no room left for more piles of corpses, a ditch was dug adjacent to the barbed wire at the edge of the camp. It measured about seven to eight meters in width, length and depth. We threw the corpses into this ditch, poured tar over them and set them on fire. The rising smoke polluted the air throughout the area. Both crematoria burned day and night. Parts of it were extremely p painful because it's so close, it's beyond close, that often I had to stop reading it. I couldn't read all that in one go. And yet there was a strong will within these people to survive. An inexplicable instinct enabled us to recognize danger from afar and conditioned us to be constantly vigilant day and night, to patiently await the morning and not to give in. After the war, Ernst became a dentist in Germany. He married and had three children. His book is a searing, relentless account of the worst atrocity of the 20th century. We are in danger of forgetting and wanting to forget because it is 71 years now and there is a danger of reality turning into history. On the 30th of April 1945, our freedom was restored to us. But still today, the mental shock of the concentration camps remains. The camps still hold me prisoner.